Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. In an earlier episode, I showed you how to get stuck buckets unstuck. Well, some of our viewers wrote in and gave me some more tips and techniques on how to do that. Let me show you a few of their ideas. You know, you see these buckets all over the place, whether they're the orange ones, the blue ones, the white ones, or whatever. It seems like every major retailer has their own version of it. They're extremely handy around the home for all sorts of uses. Their big downside, when you stack them all together, many times they get like permanently welded together, or so it seems. In one of our early episodes, I showed you how to use an air compressor nozzle to get them apart. But fairly, several of our viewers wrote in and said, hey, Jay, what about for us that don't have an air compressor? Are there any techniques for us? And some others gave me some ideas. Let me show you some of the best ideas that came in. Before I show you the first method, though, a couple of caveats. First of all, this method is for buckets that have not been glued together. There's no adhesive in them, including some paints that really may stick them together and make it so you can never get them apart. The second item is if they are actually mechanically fastened together or they are totally two different sizes and you've got a larger bucket absolutely wedged into a smaller bucket below it. The third thing you need to just be aware of is sometimes the bales, the handles themselves can, they always seem to fall directly on the ribs of the bucket below it and you can be exerting all sorts of lifting pressure and they're just catching. So make sure that you have separated the bales. Now, let's go to tip number one. If you don't have an air compressor, you can go down to your local big box store or electronic supplier and buy a can of compressed air, commonly used for cleaning electronics, such as keyboards and such. You can simply take the straw, find the gap between the top bucket and the bottom bucket and look for some place where there's a little distortion. There's a good place right there. Jam that straw in there and start getting air going. Once that happens and you get air down in, there it is, it's gonna break the vacuum and look what happens. Now you can separate the buckets. That's technique number one. Technique number two, since what's really holding these buckets together is vacuum. When they were originally pressed together, the air was pressed out, and when you try to pull them apart, a vacuum is formed. What you've gotta do is create positive air pressure below. If you don't have compressed air, another thing you can do is warm the air in the bottom bucket so that it expands and exerts just even mild pressure. There's a couple ways you can do that. One is to submerge it in hot water. Another one is to put it out in the sun with the top half in the shade. The third one's just the good old blow dryer. Well, let's give it a shot. Make sure to move it around so that you don't burn the plastic in any one given place. Keep moving around. Warm the bottom as well. And there you go, it takes a little longer, but it works. Okay, method number three. This viewer had the idea of never allowing the buckets to get a vacuum form to begin with. And he does that by taking a regular wooden clothespin, taking the spring part out of it, so that you now the two wood parts. And when the bucket is new and in good condition, a good place to place these is right here under where the bale is connected. That's because the bucket usually gets hit out in this area when it's handled, not near the handle. And what he does is either glue them in with silicone, or you can affix them from the backside with a small fastener. And by having these pressed in on both sides of the handle, and I'm just temporarily placing them, when the adjacent bucket comes in, it only goes up so far and creates a little air channel there so a vacuum can never be formed. Pretty clever, huh? Well, those are three great tips that should help you recover those buckets that you thought were ready to go off to bucket heaven. Hey, if you found these tips to be helpful, why don't you like the video? Better yet, subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.